Hello again folks, it's Jotocast and I actually imported myself one of these zombie strike side strikes. Uh, I reckon they look pretty cool and I wanted to have a look and see what could be done as far as modifying one goes. So uh, as the usual routine goes, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, unpack this. We're going to put um, half a dozen darts across the chronometer and see what it does in stock form. And then we'll open her up and have a look and see what we can do about uh, trying to improve its performance and see what we can get out of it. All right, I'll uh, set up the chronometer and unpack the uh, blaster and we'll, we'll get about putting half a dozen rounds over the crony. Back in a moment. The blaster comes with half a dozen zombie strike darts, so that's what we're going to use and put across the chronometer. Um, so let's uh, go with it for a shot. Oh, I'll tell you what, out of the stock blaster, that's not bad. Okay, so we've got half a dozen shots there. Um, those readings are actually pretty, pretty good. Now, I'm going to have a look at this, see what uh, what we need to do to pull it apart. Um, we'll get it open. We'll have a look at the internals, see what improvements we can make. All right, I'll just uh, whip all the screws out, and I'll be back in just a moment. Hey, okay, now when you're unscrewing this, um, just remember that there is one little sneaky one up uh, under the. Uh, Top here, so you have to pull that back to get into it. Okay, so now we can lift the top off. And this is what we are left with. Um, it looks like I have already dislodged the trigger mechanism. Well done. Okay, yeah, I will uh, re. Okay. So that's the trigger mechanism realigned. Um, all right, so I'm assuming there's a little a little barb on the bottom of the uh, main rod there that uh, when it comes back, it latches onto the top of that little trigger arm, and when you pull your trigger, it disengages and releases it. Um, all right, let's have a look here. We'll get, uh, I believe, this front section. Oh, yeah, look, that just lifts out very easily. Top barrel sections on a little post that comes out quite easy as well. Ship plunger assembly, Got a, an air restrictor. So we'll pop that air restrictor out. We might have a look and see if, uh, if we've got a spring that's got a bit more off to it. I uh, might just improve this seal a little bit on the O-ring, perhaps. And that's pretty much going to be all we can do. So I'll go about doing those and come back and confirm uh, what I've done. Okay. <clears throat> so what I've ended up doing is uh, removing the air restrictor from in here, um, as you can see. Now, what I did with the back of this is, it's kind of hard to show, but... I actually uh, built up hot glue on it and let it drip down through the hole while, while the barrel wasn't attached and then trimmed it off. So it's now got like a hot glue funnel um, taking up some of that dead space and funneling the airflow into the actual hole at the back of the barrel. So it's actually like a duct, so to speak, uh, in that front little section there. It's now like a funnel. Um, I don't know how well or how bad that's going to affect things, but I guess uh, we'll find out shortly. Um, with the main cylinder here, um, no mods necessary there. The only thing I have done is I've put a just just a small layer of Teflon tape under the um, O-ring just to give it a little bit better seal, but you don't want it too tight. And the other thing I'm doing is um, doing away with the stock spring and putting in an orange mod works. Um, spring there, which is an eight kilo uh, rough cut. Um, I think 
able to do rough cut, strong arm, and the crossfire bow or something like that. So I'm going to put one of those in there because it's a very close to the same size, um, similar sort of pitch and what have you, um, and same sort of diameter. So I reckon that should fit okay. All right, so now I'll go about putting it back together. Uh, once it's back together, I've lubed up the O-ring seal and the inner, inner tube and what have you as well. Um, we'll put it back together and uh, we'll put it back across the chronometer and see uh, see if we've been able to make any sort of improvement out of it. All right, back once it's assembled. Okay, all the internals are back together now. Um, the other thing I forgot to do is say is that I put some duct tape around a little uh, vent that's on the barrel there as well. Um, all right, so uh, everything's back in place. It's all lubed up. Um, I've just got to pop the lid back on and then we'll uh, test fire it and put it across the chronograph. Might be tick. Okay, the side strike is all now back together with all the mods done and uh, doing a test fire. It does shoot, but um, it's definitely a little bit uh, harder to cock. Um, a little bit stiffer in the action, but even though I gave it a little bit of a lube up as well. But uh, proof is in the pudding, so let's uh, bring in the chronometer, set up the um, camera. Now these are with the Elite Zombie Strike darts that come with the blaster. So uh, we'll put six across uh, and see what we come up with. Six, I'll just do a seventh one for good measure. Uh, why not do an eighth one for good measure? All right, so there we go. Um, that is a bit of an improvement. Um, it's got an honest pop and uh, and what to it now. Um, so we'll work out the uh, feet per second, like what we're getting out of that as an average. Um, compare that to the original uh, readings um, to get an idea of uh, just how much of an improvement we've made. Um, I don't think it's a great deal, but uh, roughly 10 feet per second maybe. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, good little blaster. Um, at that sort of pace, 70 something odd feet per second, it's uh, putting out about the same as my uh, hammer shot. Yeah most, yeah, most of the pistol type blasters are sort of you know, uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy to sort of get that sort of out of them, which is pretty good. So, um, considering this is a, uh, a nice little blaster that uh, comes with the holster and everything, um, I think that's pretty good. I'd be happy to uh, take that around as a sidearm. Um, Alright folks, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.